riff raff tonight. Welcome back to this live Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Soap Star special. It really has been quite a weekend. Next up, we have Paddy Kirk and Marlon Dingle. One is a vet and the other is a chef. So if you're a cow on Emmerdale, you want to make sure you visit the right one. Please welcome Dominic Brunt and Mark Charnock. <laughs> wow, what a welcome. <laughs> They're going crazy for you. <laughs> Extraordinary reception. Most of the people squealing are men, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and you two are mates in real life. It's all relative. Acquaintances. Yeah. Mates. Yeah. Best friends. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he once tried to kill you. He did, yes, that's true. He did. Just tell me the story again, because it is <laughs> so silly. Well, I, I saw Dominic, he was driving a Land Rover in a scene and he got all over excited. Lisa Riley was in the car with him. And I saw him from a distance and he was sort of talking to Lisa and they had to drive back around to the set. So he drove up really fast and he saw me. And from a distance I saw this laughing, hysterical face. And then he got closer and closer and I saw him try to brake. And it just went doom, doom, I was just doom. showing off and I just thought I'll pretend to run into him and then I'll turn at the last minute. So yeah. at the last minute, I turned and he jumped I turned in the same in, direction. I, I turned into the same direction. Luckily, my fall was broken by a bed of nettles. Oh, great. And you're still best mates. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a large degree. Tell of me thing. this thing, you two, because I found this very bizarre reading all the stuff about you. You're both zombie fans. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it, mean, it means that we need to probably need therapy, I would think. We watched too many zombie films. We, we did it we, we just, in between But it's scenes. not horror films, it's zombie films. No, I don't really like horror films, but zombie films are amazing. So yeah. we, we just used to watch them a lot. And then we thought, we should put these on at a cinema. So we, we hire a cinema once a year and put this six films This is the Leeds on. Zombie Festival. Film Festival, yeah. yeah. Which you mastermind yeah. every year. I think yeah, we, for us in... Have we got... <laughs> <laughs> have you got a pit? Look at this picture of you two. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't, look, you don't look silly then, that's the great thing. Good grief. <laughs> that was before makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Good lord. So you do that every weekend, uh, every once a, or a weekend, once 12, a year. Twelve hours. We all go into a darkened Looking room like with that. loads of other zombie nerds and watch six films. Yeah. Once a year for charity. Yeah. You're very scary people. <laughs> yeah, <excuse laughs> now, uh, just before we get on with the serious business, we have to close the phone lines. Uh, got about 20 minutes, 25 minutes left on air. We're closing the phone lines now, so please, please stop calling because any entries from made from now on, don't forget we started the phone lines Saturday night, last night when we came on air at quarter past nine. Any uh, phone lines from now on, made from now on, will not be counted. We've closed the lines, but you just might still be charged, so please stop dialing. Right. Dominic, Mark are hoping to win tons of cash to share between their charities, WSPA. And do you say that whisper? They don't, they don't, you don't like you saying whisper. All right, well, I won't do it then. <laughs> I, don't know why. I didn't do it. Edit that. Oh, we can't. We like <laughs> WSPA and Down Syndrome Training and Support Service. And for one of you at home as well, of course, and that total is going up and up and up. And the phone lines have now closed. They have three lifelines to help them. And for the first two questions, they have 15 seconds. Guys, Mark, Dominic, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> I don't know whether you're overexcited or terrified. I think, I think possibly a bit of both. Question number one for £500. I'll read it and then I'll start the clock. You'll have 15 seconds. Here it comes. Returning to the UK from abroad, you might pass through a channel labelled what? Start the clock. Nothing to declare. Plenty to say. Quiet, please. Don't get me started. Go on. A. Nothing to declare. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £500. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to come back from holiday going, how was your holiday? So don't get me started! <laughs> 500 pounds you have. Question number two is for 1,000. You have all three lifelines intact. Use them if you have to. I'm sure you won't. 15 seconds. I'll give you the question first. Here it comes. Which of these soaps, <laughs> you better know this, <laughs> is set in the United Kingdom? 15 seconds. Neighbours, Hollyoaks, Home and Away, Days of Our Lives. B, Hollyoaks, final answer. Not neighbours. Oh, good Lord, no. <laughs> ah, good Lord, no. It's the right answer, you've got a £1,000. <laughs> and you also are a keen motorcyclist. You went, went through the back of somebody's car. Yeah, I managed to ride... You're a bit of a menace to society. <laughs> <laughs> it's all <also> so clumsy. <laughs> yeah. 
OK. So that's £1,000 <laughs> safely in the bank. They've got £500 for their charities and £500 more now in the viewer prize pot. Let's have a look. It's going up. 76000 Hopefully that will be won sometime before 10 o'clock tonight. For the next five questions, they'll have 30 seconds. Loads of time. Take your time. Remember your lifelines. You're five away from 50000 at that point if you get there, and I hope you do. The clock will stop. Right. Question number three is for £2,000. Here it comes. Complete the title of the 2011 blockbuster, Captain dot, 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 the first Avenger. 30 seconds, start the clock. Kirk, America, fantastic. Cook. Uh, B, America, final, final answer. answer. We've worked on that. <laughs> we got That's the, the right answer, you got 2,000 pounds. <laughs> Going okay, two thousand pounds. You are four away from fifty thousand, but you have three lifelines. Question number four is for five thousand pounds. Have a look. Thirty seconds again. Here it comes. What name does Prince William have emblazoned on his RAF flight suit? Thirty seconds. Will Kensington, Will Windsor, Will Buckingham, Will Wales? Should we ask the audience? I don't know the answer to that. Well, I think it's B, but I think we should. Um, ask, the ask the audience. Stop the clock. 20 seconds left when we come back. Right, audience, on your keypads, please. Um, this is the question. What name does Prince William have emblazoned on his RAF flight suit? Now, A is Will Kensington. B is Will Windsor. C is Will Buckingham. D is Will Wales. A, Will Kensington. B, Will Windsor. Uh, C, Will Buckingham. D, Will Wales. Prince William on his RAF flight suit. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Fifty-seven percent are saying Will Wales, one percent Will Buckingham. We'd like to meet that person. Um, Thirty-nine percent Will Windsor, three percent Will Kensington. Restart the clock. Twenty seconds. What are you can do? We're going to go fifty-fifty, please. Okay, right. Computer, take away. Stop the clock again. Computer, take away two random answers, wrong answers. Leave the guys the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Then I'll restart the clock. Take two away. Will Buckingham, Will Wales. Restart the clock. Will Wales, final answer. D, Will Wales, final answer, please. Not going with Will Buckingham, then? No! No, not the 1% didn't seem to scream out at us. It's the right answer! You got through a couple of lifelines, fine, you got £5,000. <laughs> and if you could play anybody on Earth in a soap, you'd like to come back as Benny from Crossroads. Yeah! He was a legend. Yes. Good casting. I like the hat. <laughs> <laughs> what for you was the magic of Benny? I just liked his simplicity. Well, he certainly was. OK, you've got £5,000. You're three away from £50,000. you are hanging in there, guys. You've got to phone a friend left. Yeah. Double your money here for £10,000. You do not have to play this. You can take the money. You can phone a friend to take the money. Question number five for ten grand. Here it comes. Wendy Deng is the wife of which business mogul? 30 seconds, start the clock. Alan Sugar, Bernie Eccleston, Rupert Murdoch, Richard Branson. Should we phone a friend? Yeah, we're going to phone a friend. OK, stop the clock. 24 seconds left. That's your last lifeline, but it may keep you in. Right, now, Alan, Nigel, who are these? Uh, well, Alan's Dom's dad. Hey. Nigel's my mate who's playing Shrek in the West End at the moment. And Matt's <laughs> Dom's mate. Matt's my mate. OK, are you going to phone your dad? Who are we going to phone? I think we're going to phone Nigel. Nigel, who's playing Shrek at the moment. Yes. Yeah. Okay, right, 30, are you going to talk to him? Yes. Okay, yes. right, Dominic, you talk to him. You have 30 seconds. Uh, tell him the question, four possible answers. All our phone friends again, because we're live, are still locked somewhere in a cupboard. Uh, they have no idea what's happening, they have no idea what this question is. They cannot see a television screen, otherwise it would make things fairly too simple for them. You give them lots of time to go on a search engine or whatever. So, they have got light bulbs, but they can't see much else. Hello? Nigel? Yes? Chris Tarrant, good evening, how are you? Oh no, I wasn't... Oh right. yes! <laughs> oh yes, yes, I knew you'd be thrilled to hear from me. Listen, it's about, um, oh blimey, 18 minutes to 10. We're live on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I've got Mark and Dominic here, they're doing okay, but they're stuck on one particular question. Um, Mark says you're the man to know this. Oh, I hope so. Well, so do we. Um, it's worth £10,000, matey, so it's quite serious business. Okay. Right, next voice will be Mark, so tell the question. There are four possible answers, one of them is the right answer. It's worth ten grand. Mark, lots of luck, mate. 
mate. Fingers crossed. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Nige, Wendy Deng is the wife of which business mogul? A, Alan Sugar. B, Bernie Eccleston. C, Rupert Murdoch. D, Richard Branson. Wendy Deng. Rupert Murdoch. How sure are you? Positive. Thanks, mate. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye. Restart the clock. I think I know what you're going to do. What are you going to do? We're going to go with Nigel's answer. Uh, C, C, Rupert Murdoch. Murdoch. Final answer. Oh yeah. No. Why were you so sure suddenly? For some reason, I just remembered because she. I remembered when he got the cake. Right, yeah, right, she, she went in and won the Wendy and all that. And right for right some on. reason, you just got. I don't, I don't know. think she was called Wendy. You don't. I don't think she was called Wendy. Find out after the break. Oh. Oh. Sunday Night Live, about uh, something like 11 minutes to 10 o'clock. Welcome back to the final part of what's been an epic uh, marathon millionaire weekend. Live, who wants to be a millionaire soap star special, where Dominic and Mark are biting their fingernails to the quick, hoping they did the right thing with their answer to this question. Wendy Deng is the wife of which business mogul? Alan Sugar, Bernie Eccleston, Rupert Murdoch, Richard Branson. They phoned a friend, and he said, Rupert Murdoch. And Kim, who's still loitering around the back with Jamie, thinks it's Rupert Murdoch. Joe and Ricky, who are, don't know where they are, on a pub down the road, I think, they also think it's Rupert Murdoch. Which doesn't necessarily bode well, does it? Andy. It's the right answer. Wendy Deng is the wife of Rupert Murdoch. And she was the one who came on yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, when he was hit with the custard pie. I tell you what, a serious right hand that girl's got. got. Side of her. <laughs> right, chaps, £10,000. We're hanging in there. Come on, come on, come on. You still playing the mandolin? Yeah. Straight. Every day. Do you? Yeah. But your wife loves that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you cook? Uh, oh, come uh, on, you're a chef. I've lost all my Michelin stars. They've all gone. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not great, if the truth be told. So you can't? <laughs> no. I can follow a recipe, you know. Yeah. OK. All right. <laughs> right, question number six is for oh. £20,000. This is serious money, guys. Up and up and up, and hopefully the prize money going up and up and up as well. You have no lifelines left. You have two more against the clock. I'd love you to get the 50,000 for me. You can take the money at 10,000 pounds. Have a look at this. Question number six for 20 grand is this. Which of these has a standard diameter of four and a quarter inches? Dart the clock, 30 seconds. Tennis ball, golf hole, snooker ball, darts in a bull. B, golf hole. Final answer. If you're wrong, you just lost nine grand. Yeah. Why were you so sure? It's just, just one, just of, one of these <laughs> weird things that you get. I don't know. You're a zombie. <laughs> you haven't a clue. I, I've, um, I'm a big golf measurer of hole. I go around doing it. I'm absolutely positive it's four and a quarter. It's golf hole. I'm not playing game. We, we're here for serious. It's the right answer. Yeah. Twenty thousand pounds. <laughs> Now, £20,000, next one is for £50,000. I'd love to get this, I'm running out of time here. Right, do not play this unless you absolutely know it, but it's okay. worth fifty grand. Give me a wrong answer, you lose £19,000. Question okay. number seven is for £50,000. If you do get there, the clock would stop. No more fighting your head against the clock and you would get an extra lifeline. Question number seven, £50,000, is this. Ooh, what is the current cost of a colour TV licence? 30 seconds, start the clock. £125.50, £135.50, £145.50, £155.50. I, I think I think You've got 19 seconds. It's BLC, but I don't know enough, and we've got to take that money for the charity. We, we don't know it, I don't think, well enough. It'd be a guess. I just said. We've got 11 seconds. <sighs> Shall I just Quite say it? Yeah. We're just going to take the money, Chris. Thank you very much. Sure. Positive. Oh. I think it's C, but I'm not positive enough. OK, give him a big hand. Give him a big hand. Stay there, guys. Oh! Just out of interest, have you got a TV license? Yes. And what do you think it was? I thought, well, I'll be I'm going to go C. Yeah. £145.50 was the right Oh. But not a bad old night. They've got £20,000. Now, stay there.